When the great eclipse plunged the world into darkness, the vampire race erupted in a civil war. The bloodthirsty fury battled with the enlightened elders for domination of the undead. In desperation, the elders gathered up those young vampires that could be saved and entrusted them to me. To humanize them, to tame their instincts, and teach them how to live among mortals. For the Mansbridge experiment to succeed, my night school vampires will have to coexist with my regular day school. For these young predators must learn to live among the living, but invisibly. Welcome back. I trust you all had an enjoyable vacation break. No? Spending quality time with your families is obviously not high on your must-do list. Let's just say we don't miss them and they don't miss us. It's the only thing we seem to agree on. Well, let's see if you and they can agree on getting your grades up and taking full advantage of what Mansbridge Academy has to offer. What do you think about that, Sherry? Sherry. Oh, what was the question? He asked if you had sex over the holidays. <laughs> The answer is yes, several times. All right, that's enough. Your first assignment, appropriately enough, is an essay on the subject no of way. change. Change? What if I haven't changed? We all change, Nick. And I want this essay on my desk first thing in the morning. Have a good day. Nice work, Nick. Get a life, Malcolm. Sherry, sure, slow down. Not now, Nick. Look, I'm sorry, okay? That was, that was a stupid, dumb remark, and I didn't mean it. And I know you didn't mean what you said, either. That's where you're wrong, Nick. I did. Getting like zero inspiration. Right how your old man used to drag you around to every nickel and dime concert while he was reliving his rock and roll golden years. Some things don't change. And he still sells. 800,000 albums last year. Enough to send me here for another tortuous year. I just think you'll be a model citizen when they let you out. I'm incorrigible. That's what the clinical assessment said. Mimi can't seem to focus on anything, lacks purpose and direction, chronically hypertensive. Sounds like everybody I know. <sighs> well, here I am again, back at school. And even though I'm surrounded by people, nothing changes. I still feel like I'm all alone. It's like there's this emptiness inside me that's trying to swallow me up. And I keep hoping to find someone. Someone who really gets me. Who likes me for me and not for who they want me to be. Where is he? 
One special person will rescue me from loneliness. was my seat. Here. Good evening. Actually, it's morning for us. Oh, <laughs> very well. Good morning. I'm Dr. Reginald Murdoch, headmaster here at Mansbridge Academy. I trust you all know why you're here. Kids like us need a proper education. Precisely. As vampires, you've been roaming aimlessly for generations. Now you've been given the opportunity to make something of your lives. <laughs> 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 Laugh if you like, but I warn you, your elders are dead serious about this. They're dead, all right. And so are we. Your elders have entrusted me to make you all well, for want of a better word, civilized. <laughs> I rest my case. Civilized. After drinking blood, I don't know if I'm up for a burger and fries. So then just order it rare and juicy. We are what we are. We can never change. Oh, you will change or remain outcasts and hunted for the rest of your nights. And if we can't? Pick up your first assignments as you leave. Any cheating is punishable by immediate expulsion. Oh, as is the other cardinal rule around here. No mixing with the day school. They must be rich kids. Good. I have expensive taste. No mixing! Understood. Dismissed. What is this crap, anyway? It's called a test. Mortals take them to determine aptitude and intelligence. Well, I got all the smarts I need to teach humans a thing or two. If you're so smart, you'll just do the test and let us do ours. Well, look who's gone all civilized all of a sudden. Taking orders from that Murdoch creep who should have been our midnight snack. Give it a rest. You're just low hemoglobin, that's all. When do they feed us around here? Not for another two hours. Great! Sit down and finish your test. Fine.
Hi, I'm Meryl. I know. I thought I'd introduce myself since we're all new here. Hi, Meryl. I'm cellmate number 666. I didn't know we were in prison. No? Look around you. Does this seem like paradise to you? The elders are giving us a chance. We should be grateful. Let them fight their endless civil war with the Fury. I want no part of it. You're a vampire. You're part of it whether you like it or not. Well, I don't like it, okay? Sorry I bothered you. Where is he? The one special person who will rescue me from loneliness. Who is she? What are you talking about? You'll learn. I read minds. She's not one of us, is she? Just a curiosity. What's it to you, anyway? Just a curiosity. May I join you? No small talk this morning, please. My stomach can't take it. I just wanted to say once again that I'm sorry for yesterday. I've moved past it. Maybe you should, too. So you let me read your essay? Judging from what you said in class, you've changed a lot. Maybe some other time. OK. Just in case you think you're the only game in town, here. Read about my vacation. Almost done, Miss Woods. I must have writer's block. Then just use your imagination. You seemed to do that well earlier. People can't change. Why are you here, Sherry? Because my parents have nothing better to do with their money. Why are you here? To help you take control of your life. Don't you have anything better to do with yours? No. Overall, not a bad showing. You all possess a strong intelligence and a keen intuition. With one exception. Carl, there's one key question that seemed to have you stumped. Choose one adjective that describes a vampire's basic nature. Simple enough, don't you think? And what did you answer, Carl? Horny. <laughs> Could you all look at the screen, please? Your enemy is not just the Fury, but humankind, who now possess the technology to hunt you down and eliminate every last one of you. You will change. You will learn to live with them and not off them, or you will perish as a race. You are here to learn the three S's. Self-control. You must temper your cravings. Solidarity. If one of you fails, you all fail. Social graces. Don't draw blood on your first date. <laughs> Close enough. This Nick is so hot. He's all yours if you want him. <laughs> yeah, me and every other chick in school. 
You know you've been over there for an hour. Trust me, Prince Charming's not gonna ride up and knock at your door. Mm, one can hope. Are you Prince Charming? No, I'm a pizza delivery boy. They're beautiful, thank you. But it's way past curfew, you've gotta go. Uh, I don't think so. Whoa, this room's out of bounds. Look, all I wanna do is talk, okay? Leave now or I'll scream. <laughs> You're a tea, Sherry. You think you could turn me on and off like a switch, but that's over. I'm gonna scream, I swear it. Well, chorus, you got 20 seconds. 10. Yeah, sure you will. One, two. <laughs> Leave now or I'll scream. You're a teacher. Sherry. You think you could turn me on and off like a switch, but that's over. I'm gonna scream, I swear it. Now, let's begin our one-on-one -on -one sessions, starting with Carl. Just leave, okay? Leave. You have to learn to control your instincts. That's why we're here. That creep's following his instincts, and I'm following mine. And you know better than him. I can't believe this. I can't believe she's doing this. I bought flowers! Consider yourself spared. For now. I got the reading assignment done if you want to copy my notes. Thanks, Malcolm, but I can't read your scribble anyways. I'll take them. What? I don't need a guardian angel. Well, then, what was I last term when I tutored you to pass civics? Just a kid with a bad overbite? <laughs> Leave me alone. I just wanted to say that I figured it out. What are you talking about? You and I need time, so I decided to let you have it. You're not making any sense. Wait, you feel crowded in this relationship, and I understand that now. So, <sighs> so I decided to give you some space to, to think it over. What relationship? We don't have a relationship anymore. Are you seeing another guy? Is that it? You know what? If I was, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. We shouldn't even be having this conversation right now. We'd no. We're gonna get into this now. Yes, because you Why have to ever do. Because you have to be heard. You're not listening to me. Couldn't sleep either, huh? <laughs> this cool or what? What is it? A window on the daylight world, my friend. How can we never noticed it before? Because I'm a high tech guy in a low tech basement. Murdoch was probably saving this up as a surprise if we were really good, what which we're definitely not. What more do you want from me? I just said I'm give you time to sort us out. I have sorted us out, and it's over. Shit. Let go, you're hurting me. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. Get that back. No. It's personal. No. Really, really. Really, how personal? Give it to me. Mm, do you? No? Where is no? He? The one special person. Nick. Rescue me from loneliness. <laughs> Rescue me from my loneliness? Oh, oh shit, that's, that's pathetic. Give you, it back, you, Nick! Why? Come and get it. Nick! Come on, Sherry. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Come on. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Nick, give on. it to me! Hey, you know what? I'm gonna send this tape over the net so the whole world can hear. No! No! <laughs> She'd look good between two slices of bread. <laughs> Give it to me right now! Stop it! Why are you being like this? I really want this, huh? Nick! 
Oh, come on, shit. The child suffers from something no medicine can mend. I didn't hear you come in. But then I never do. He has crossed over in his heart. He must be brought back. We will not lose him, you have my word. You have no choice. Point well taken. Though, there are some other things I need to discuss with you. Some other time, then. A vampire must learn to live among the living, invisibly. A rule that once broken leaves both worlds forever changed. The vampire is by nature a lone wolf, predatory. Therefore, any sudden temptation to join the human community is suspect and dangerous. Come in. Ah, Dwight. I got something on the security camera. And what might that something be? Want me to pop it in? Uh, that's all right. I'll do the honors. Okay, it's coming right up. It'll just kind of whoosh across the screen. Okay, here it comes. There, there, there. you see it? No, Dwight. Regretfully, I didn't see it. It just sailed across, rippled like water, or like, like... Like? Like ghost-like, like that. Are you suggesting Mansbridge Academy is haunted? You didn't see it? Sorry. Well, let me rewind it. There is something there. Right, I'm very busy. Perhaps we ought to have that particular camera cleaned. Okay, uh, can I have my disc back? I'm going to keep it for the time being. I am sure there is something there. Good afternoon, Dwight, and thank you, as always, for your diligence. Not ghosts, just our night schoolers. So, our last student has arrived. to be left alone. Meryl. Um, you see, I'm on probation for, uh, as Murdoch put it, premature aggression. I beg your pardon? Oh, that's, um, messing in day school affairs a tad too early. It, uh, seems I've been a bad, bad boy, even for a vampire. 
I see. I wasn't trying to intrude. No. No intrusion taken. Nick? Nick's not my beau, and he got exactly what he deserved. Going through a window seems a bit harsh. He said something pushed him, but I think he's just a klutz. Done with our uh, homework, are we? You haven't even opened a book. Girlfriend, I'm from the School of Hard Rocks. If it ain't rocking, I don't come knocking. Okay, the Mimi's in. Tell me about your day. My day? What about my life? Gonna cost you extra for deep analysis. I need something new in my life. Something that I want, not what others want for me. Ah, so we're talking about the quest for truest love. Mr. Right, a where for art thou kind of thing. And that for me means him. Can I have your attention? I want you all to gather together, please. You are all solitary predators, and that practice must come to an end. Any sense of Community or family is no longer instinctive in you. Now, that being said, I want to introduce the final member of your community. One who, like yourselves, will be redeemed. Marty? Oh, Marty. Present! Welcome to Mansbridge Academy. It's a pleasure to be a part. <laughs> School days, school days, go to a broken rule days. So I guess it's supposed to be some kind of like honor. Oh. <laughs> Cellar dwellers on a short leash. Some honor. Exactly. The elders believe we can do what none of our race has ever done before. So humankind won't zap us during mealtime. Speaking of which, when do we eat? I mean, it's a promise of bottle-fed blood that got me here in the first place. Blood allotments are distributed at 1 a.m. Class begins thereafter. Allotments. Why do I think that's not gonna be a lot? Well, what about those day schoolers? Can't they be on the menu? You asking me? If you got the answer. They're off limits. Rule number one, no mixing with the day students. Big guy. Do I smell some lingering human on you? Yeah, I was only made last Halloween. My human home isn't far from here. My nose. Infallible. Where are you from? Where? <laughs> Wherever the blood and the wind did blow me. Who's the glam queen? It's Essie. I think I'll go pay a little royal visit. I know what looks good on a woman. Me. You're a fashion consultant, are you? Yeah. What you reading? Vampirella? 
Can I take a look at the semi-clad pictures when you're done? If I applaud, will your bow and go away? A vamp with some verbal venom. <laughs> I sense a rival. Attention, attention! Can I have your vampiric attention? Blood brothers and sisters. What is the motto of the grand vampire scheme of things? All right, looks like you guys do need to be in school again. The motto is, find them, fang them, and drain them. So I say, road trip. It's a major infraction of the rules to leave the school. Oh. You mean I might get a detention for leaving Tranquility Bay? Come on. One last troll to find out who our potential blood donors are. Count me in. <laughs> Queenie. Oh, come on. One last feasting for all time's sake. One more fang dip before hitting the books. You're really twisted, aren't you? Just trying to suit ourselves in the food chain. Don't tell me that ain't in your vamp blood. Oh, why not? Lead on, Twisto. You have to stop him. I'm not the party police. This can ruin it for all of us. It was ruined for us all a long time ago. Listen, all I've been trying to say is that if you want to find Mr. Wright, it's time to take the exit ramp off life in the Mansbridge slow lane. What are you talking about? <laughs> that we're going to make a run for fun, sister. No. Yes. No. Yes. I heard about this roadhouse. Got to be full of local yokels, but also full of loud and rowdy. And I can do loud and rowdy. Do it all night long. No, I can't get kicked out of here because my parents have threatened to send me to an all-girls military school next. Listen, boot camp for bimbos aside, if you're gonna find your Mr. Right, you sometimes gotta do a little wrong.
of travelers. My name's Samantha, but you can call me Candy Coffin. Nice lipstick. The shade is congealed blood. Want some? And your hair is? Manic panicked it myself. Well, it's definitely you. So, um, which one's for me? This is how it's done, girl. This place sucks, and not in a good way. This music's making my fangs ache. Let's play something else. It'll be 17's great, but uh, they won't let me play it. Oh, yeah? Outside my van, I get real good back rubs. No thanks, bud. You must be one of them men's bridge smugheads. Oh, and what school do you attend? Reform? Why? You like it rough? <laughs> <laughs> now watch this. <laughs> hey, sweetheart! You wear your pretzels well. <laughs> oh, no, it looks, no, it looks good. <laughs> Let's go kick some butt. Ooh. If you're gonna ask me to dance, you gotta let me leave. I don't like your looks. Looks can be deceiving. Bye-bye. <laughs> You are so dead on dark. Sleepwalking, Shari. No. I always try to give you the benefit of the doubt. When I can't do that anymore, you'll be asked to leave. You should have stuck around. Things really got started. Don't matter, though. Because <laughs> we brought the fun to us. This place rocks. Who knew you guys had a goth club at Mansbridge Manor? It's like a dream come true. <sighs> or nightmare. Tell me you didn't. Didn't what, Boy Scout? Did you take her? Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Did he do this to you? Oh, this? No, I have a friend who's in makeup. Though I'm thinking it's about time we gave her a little taste test of the real thing. <laughs> What's going on here? Where are you guys from, anyway? Oh, here. There. Everywhere! How did he... Just call me Speedy Gonzalez. Thanks for bringing me here, but I think I'm gonna go home now. No. I think it's time to show you a little more. Ever 
pierced the ankle? It's not a bad entry point. Let me down, oh. please! I just want to go... Shut home. up! Hey! You're gonna stop this, and you're gonna stop it now! Stop what, big boy? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How about a little mood light for this drama? Don't do this. Don't! Before you can't stop. Stop! If we fail, if the Fury learns of us, none of us will survive! fear this experiment. They fear it because of what we might become. But this, this is what they want us to remain. Let her down. Let her down! Down. Can't I? You're gonna let me go home? Look at me. I won't tell anyone, no. I promise! Ruth, look at me. What happened? What you heard? What you saw? You never heard. You never saw. I love your playhouse. Pink's my favorite color. Somebody get her out of here. I only gave her the half hour Barbie is my goddess special. I'll take her. Where's Ken? I love Ken. <sighs> Drew, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. None of us are okay. School's gonna be a kick after all. The Mansbridge experiment hinges on time. It is the great measure. With time, a community can be formed. A community that heals all wounds. Forever. Vampires don't know how to love. They only know craving. You got nice hair. You got the whole package. I had a girlfriend when I was human. She had hair all the way down to her. <laughs> well, you know. What was she, a hula dancer? You think you're smarter than me, don't you? Well, I've known plenty of chicks who thought they were smarter than me, who came around to thinking at certain things. I was plenty smart enough. Well, if you're real lucky, I'll run that smart check on you later. I'll remind you. Oh, and Carl? Yeah? Some chicks can peck your eyes out. For vampires, courtship is a deadly ritual of stalking and praying. Humans are also known to stalk and pray. 
What do you want, Nick? Take a guess. How many times have I told you it's over? And just because it's over doesn't mean we can't still hang out together, does it? Yes. Pick a poem that best expresses the, the way you feel about love. We're here. Maybe I can help you find one. Oh, my. I'm sorry. Nick. It was an accident. Nick. I'll clean Come it up. Let me no, clean it up. go. But despite their predatory natures, it is possible for vampires to fall in love. In vampire lore, they call this person the one. You want to see me? Yes. We really haven't had a chance to talk since your incident. Incident is that what we're calling it now? You crossed over the line into the day school. We both know that. The rules are established for a reason, Drew. Yeah, to make my life miserable. I know that's how it must seem to you now. But it's for your own protection as well as the day students. By adhering to the rules now, Maybe someday, this experiment will... Cost me my one chance at happiness with her. Then it isn't meant to be. Are we clear on this? Yeah. You've been thinking about her again, haven't you? Meryl, could you stop playing mind reader for two seconds, please? I can't help it. I'm drawn to her. What you're feeling isn't love. It's just being bloodthirsty. You can't have a relationship with someone who doesn't even know that you exist. And she can't know that you exist. Mail call. Letter for Sherry Woods. Why do you have my mail? Oh, well, it was in your box all day, and since I was heading this way, I... Since when have you been heading in the direction of the girls' dorm? Just ask me first next time, okay? Did I mention that I give a mean pedicure? <sighs> hey, courier boy, I got a message for you. You want me to leave? Message delivered. Well, some pretty fancy handwriting. There's no signature. I think it's a love letter. Could be a total psycho. They say that love is blind, but I think love is light, like the sun. You chase the darkness from my very soul. The soul I find never had. Trying to fatten me up. What? Pints of Cherry Lewis ice cream. I didn't put that there. Someone's definitely after you. Mm. Okay, this is gonna be way too intense for me. Well, if it isn't Mr. Charm himself, you just don't know when to quit, do you? I never give up on a good thing. Listen, you say it's over, but I never quit on you. You quit on me. Okay, 
Maybe I have been a little bit too harsh. Does that mean you'll give me another chance? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. No! Roses, the ice cream, all very nice. Hey, no sweat. But the letter, that was something else. Yeah, the letter. But Nick, tell me, when you said you didn't think you had a soul, what did you mean by that? Uh, that depends on the context. Let me refresh my memory. Don't be so mysterious. There's nothing mysterious about my feelings for you. <laughs> my heart's wide open. Maybe we should continue this conversation over dinner? Sure, we can talk. Pick me up from the library tomorrow night, say, 7. Okay, I'll see you then. Hey, Nick. Hey, loser. You send stuff to my girl again, you're dead meat. You understand? What? Just stay away from her. Any time now. Winner gets my heart. I know what you're going through. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. It's a classic case of forbidden love, right? Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare. It's very impressive. Thank you. What if I told you that I knew a way that you could connect with Sherry? What do you care? What do I care? You're one of the guys, right? If you're hurting, I'm hurting. <laughs> See, I know a plan that doesn't break any of the rules. Yeah, in my dreams. Close. Not in yours, but in hers. You actually making an offer to help, or are you just messing with me in your typical sleazy manner? Do you want to know or not? Fine. Forget it. All right. I'm listening. You know that Meryl has the ability to dream slide. With her help, you would get into Sherry's dreams. Make yourself known to her. A vampire should never use their special abilities in matters of the heart. But it's okay to cheat at chess. All right. No, absolutely not. You need her permission to enter her dreams. You can't just barge in uninvited. Look, how's it done? Listen, walking around in a person's dream can really screw them up for life. I'll be careful. Once the portal's been opened, there's always a chance that someone or something might follow you in. Look, all I want to do is connect with her. Right. Meryl, I need for Sherry to know that I exist. Even if it's only in a dream. And then what? I don't know, but it's got to be better than the way I feel now. Drew, there's no shortcut to love. But if you feel you got to do it this way. Don't do it, Meryl. I'm going to help you. First, you're going to take my hand. And then you're going to put your hand on Sherry's forehead.
Nothing's happening. Some say love is blind, but I say love is light. Like the sun, you drive the darkness from my soul. Sherry, I, I need to tell you something. You remember the person to rescue you from loneliness? I, I think that that person is... Hi, I can skip backwards. Wanna see? Here, hold this. That's very good. <laughs> Thanks. My name's Sherry. Sherry? You're Sherry! That's my name, so wear it out. <laughs> Sherry, I need to see you older again. Can you do that for me? How come you're so white? Drew! You need to come out! No, it's too soon! <sighs> We're late for class. What are you gonna tell me? She couldn't hear me. I mean, I tried to connect with her, but it's like she was in a trance or something. That sometimes happens when you dream slide. It's like you're invisible at first. Yeah, but, but then this little Sherry showed up and she even gave me a present. A present? You didn't take it, did you? Stammer? I haven't st stammered since I was six years old. Whoa, you were a troubled gal. No. My dad was so freaked out about it, he took me to all these speech therapists. So embarrassing. So did the therapist cure you? She gave me this little blue m m marble to hold in my hand. Whenever I felt nervous, I was supposed to think of the marble. Next thing you know, my st 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 stammer was gone. So are we still on for dinner? I just don't think I want to do. <laughs> What's up with you? Porky. Get away from me. You're worse than my father. I really screwed up, didn't I? We, we can't just leave her like that. Need I tell you? I told you. Would you like me to go scavenging in your dreams? Anytime. No doubt you'd learn a few things. Oh, don't go anywhere. We're gonna need you. Anything else I can do for you? 
Keep an eye out for Dr. Murdoch. The last thing we need is for him to find out about this. Got it? Fine. I live to serve. Okay, go in and put the marble back. But make sure you give it to little Sherry and no one else. Okay. Here. Let's get this over with. Welcome back to Sherry's dream. Here, have a rose. Weird, isn't it? Is Sherry having a nightmare? Or are you her nightmare? Who are you? I'm a little teacup, so I'm round. What have I been good things you've done? Now we see eye to eye. Aren't you gonna give me my marble? No, Drew, give it to me. She's supposed to give it to me. Drew, don't listen to her. No, it's mine. No, 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 it's mine, mine! Your hands are so cold. I have to go. Come on, please stay and watch the sunrise with me. I'm not supposed to be here. Dawn's my favorite time of day. When the sun chases the darkness away. The letter. Nick didn't write it, you did. seen a sunrise in years. You live in darkness? Except when I'm with you. Drew! You must leave now. Remember me. When vampires feel desire, they cannot rest until their hunger has been satisfied. Feel it, you know? Did you give the marble back? Yeah. What else happened? Um, little Sherry. Her voice was, was different. It was, um, it was scary. And she called me by name. So someone did follow you in. But real love is patient. It gives life instead of feeding from it. When a vampire discovers the one, this difference becomes crystal clear. Hey, I can skip backwards. Want to see? Chill. Got it bad. Somebody should do something.
rite of passage into adulthood is a daunting experience. We move from our family into the world, hoping to find in friends what our family can no longer provide. Haven't you ever dreamed you're in love? In lust? Yeah. Love? No. Well, I had a dream about someone. Someone that I didn't even know, but it was weird because I felt like I did know him. We had this connection. He was strong and kind, yet intense. And? And? What did he look like? I'm not exactly sure. No fleshy details? You gotta get your dreams into sharper focus, girl. Hi, guys. Malcolm. Malcolm. The vampire experiences an even more frightening passage into his new world. Carl, is there something I can do for you? I'm out of here, now! You can't do that. You know you can't do that. I need to be back there, where I was, where I belong. There is no there anymore. There's only here for you now. Look, my hometown is walking distance from here, man. I just, I just need to go visit. I, I, I won't be seen, I just, I need to see them. No, that's not a good idea. We got a runner. Carl. If you go out that door, any real chance of going back to your life is over. Our experiment here is to give you that chance. I believe it's a very real chance. Carl Todman? It can't be. Big guy. Getting happy feet, are you? Back off, Marty. Back off. You all sit down, please. Drew, Marty, now. We need to talk about what just happened. There's nothing wrong with me. Just needed some air. Oxygen. Good for the brain. Well, then I'll buy you a tank full. Carl, is there something There's we... nothing, all right? I'm fine. I just wanted to... Carl, are you sure you want to leave this for now? I'm sure. All right. Then let's resume from where we left off yesterday. Now we'll see if that doesn't get some results. Do you ever miss having a normal family? Define normal. You know, mom, dad, cat, dog, a minivan. A psychotic brother who swallows my angel fish and wants to be adopted by Madonna? Oh wait, I already have him. I'm serious, I mean, do you think we're the way we are because we failed or because our parents failed us? In what way are we? Well, here, without family, and calling this place home. I mean, why else would I be hoping for some dream guy to come and make my life whole? Pathetic, ain't it? And it just got worse. You are not gonna believe what just happened. I just saw a guy in our school who was the football captain of my old school. Is he cute? No, he's supposed to be dead. Are you sure about this? They buried him. So I figured, am I seeing things? No, I'm not the hallucinatory type. Says you. 
I decided to do some research, and I posted a sighting on the internet because people keep tabs on these kinds of things. And I bet they look just like you. Speaking of personal appearance, you know Victoria's secret model. If I kill him, where should we stash the body? Uh, what I'm saying is the truth. I'm not crazy, I swear. Marion Hackett. I'm with the Biomorphic Predatory Disease Agency. There may have been a vampire sighting here. Who do I speak to about it? I guess that would be me. I'm Federal. We at BPDA fight certain rare diseases that radically alter body chemistry and body shape such as hemophagy, lycanthropy. Hemophagy, blood drinking. Impressive, obviously well-schooled. Oxford. Well, Mr. Oxford, yes, we are talking about blood drinking, AKA vampires. They do exist. They do? Yes, not as cursed, soulless demons, but symbiotic organisms. And the protein disease in their blood gives them incredible speed, strength, and certain psychic abilities. Psychic abilities? Such as? We have documented cases of telekinesis, mind control, even mind travel. Yet, at their most basic, vampires do remain the creatures of lore. And that would be? Craven, bloodthirsty animals. Just how large is your agency, Miss Hackett? Small, but determined. Well, your work sounds absolutely fascinating. Would you be willing to talk with my students? About what? Career possibilities? I don't lecture. I hunt. And what is it you're hunting out here? She is trouble. I had a friend. Hackett killed her maker. Yeah, and one of her gadgets gave my cousin a scar she's forced to forever hide. We don't get scars. Imagine her surprise. So, there's this Carl Todman who lived quite near here. Records show that about a year ago, he died of what was believed to be leukemia. Died at an extremely accelerated rate. There's never been a Carl Todman enrolled at Mansbridge Academy. No. But you do have a Malcolm Fry here, correct? Malcolm? Yes. I need to interview him. For what purposes? For my purposes. Ah. Well then, of course, I'll get him. You can talk to him in the library. Okay. Let's kill her. Kill her? You'd never get that close. And you're sure who you saw was him? He once stapled me to a tree. I'd know that jerk anywhere. It was an accurate sighting. And that gave you the confidence to post this sighting on our internet site? Absolutely. He was here. I saw him. And I want to thank you for your invaluable assistance. Ma'am, I got to say this. You can go now, Malcolm. I should warn you, he's prone to a hyperactive imagination. That's what they used to say about me. Carl, Carl, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Hup. Nice jacket. <laughs> I led it all four sports, all four years. Beat that almost. I never made it to baseball season. Got made before opening day, huh? <laughs> yeah. Man, I was good. Renfield High was just gonna be the start. I already had college offers. Then again, you might have ripped up your knee. Bam. 
career over. Wind up swilling beer, getting a gut, driving a delivery truck. What could have been could have got a whole lot worse. I'm going home. Home? Yeah. Made up my mind. Carl. You, son, sizzle, remember? I'll figure something out. Carl, I don't think. I'm gonna see my mom. She'll be real happy when she finds out I'm still alive. No, she'll flip out. Not true. My mom knows how to handle these things. She buried you, Carl. You're gone to her. Then I'll tell my buddies. They'll get with this. We were like blood brothers. Carl. Blood brothers for you now means your buddies might be your next lunch. No, I'd never do that to them. I never hurt them. We were always there for each other. It's not like you and Marty. These guys got real heart. Get some sleep, Carl. It's the middle of the day. Carl's gone. What? Carl isn't here. What am I supposed to do about it? You know where he is. I do. We all do. He's got the chill. He's heading for his grave. Again. What am I supposed to do about it? Find him before someone else does, or the son does. Meryl, explain to me why it should be me to go. Because Carl won't listen to me, but he might listen to you. We both know it. You're saying Drew went after Carl outside the grounds? Carl's got the chill. There's only one place they could be headed. The cemetery. That old boneyard? Cut me loose, I'll run a rescue mission on the both of them. No, I want the rest of you to stay below until I figure out what to do. Go. Come in. I'm happy to report that none of my instruments show any evidence of biomorphic infection. Ah. The Fry Boy. Malcolm. Is he a special needs student? Ms. Hackett, all students have special needs. I'm sorry you wasted your time. Oh, I'm not done. I'm gonna take a swing by the local cemetery, check up on Todman's gravesite, and give it a look-see. So this is where our tax dollars go. I'm one of the good guys, Dr. Murdoch. You only have to see a single vampire victim, their throat ripped out to realize that. Duly noted. So, can you give me directions to the cemetery? Yes, of course I can, but um, before you go traipsing around in the dark, how about we have a cup of tea? Looking for company, are you? Well, everyone can use a little company now and then, don't you think? Why don't we have it in the foyer? I'll join you there in just a minute. Imagine if he was here, man. He is. Still remember you, Carl. <laughs> Who'd have thought? A year ago today. Dead at 18. Could have used him this year against Ethan Central. Could have used him all season long. <sighs> Wherever he is. I think he ever thinks about us? To Carl. To Carl. <sighs> what was that?
doing, man? <laughs> what, do you got some bone you're trying to bury there, Carl? I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm losing it. No, you're not. <laughs> Carl, it's something else. It's called the chill. We all go through it. It's like a homing device that calls us back to our grave. One year to the day, we get the call. Really? Yeah. I went back. My dog was still there. Still post and watch. So I tried to say hello to him. I mean, he couldn't tell anyone, right? But, uh, he just kept barking and barking at me. Showing his fangs. Actually, uh, the chill never really goes away. You just learn to live with it. That's all. So... I guess I can never go back to them. Not ever. No. <sighs> Say goodbye to the you that was. Be thankful there's a you that still is. Exactly where you are. Do not move. Drop your weapon, ma'am. I'm a federal agent. And I'm the town sheriff. Drop your weapon. Hands on the car. You got to tell me something. Why would any federal agency feel the need to take out one of our tombstones, eh? Tell me. What brought you out here anyway? Anonymous tip, ma'am. Yeah. Good to see you back, Carl. Big guy. It's a cruel world out there. That's why you gotta hang with your blood-sucking homies. I might hug you. No, too filthy. Back, back. I let myself in. I noticed. Cup of tea. Taxpayers wouldn't like that, would they? <laughs> you know, you intrigue me. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. What you're attempting here at Mansbridge, that takes a rather special sort of man. I'm glad you noticed. I can spot another professional. I hope our paths cross again. One can always hope. Then we'll have to make it happen. I'll let myself out as well. You always do. In truth, vampires and mortals experience the chill. That yearning for what we once called home that cold memory of a forever lost time and place. And for all of us, there is only the hope of finding a new home, a new family. <laughs> <laughs>